Welcome to the intriguing story of the Idle Hour Mansion, a legendary estate nestled in the heart of Oakdale, Long Island. Over the course of this documentary, we will unravel the captivating history of this iconic mansion and its enduring legacy. Our story begins in 1876, when William K. Vanderbilt, the grandson of the famous Cornelius Vanderbilt, embarked on a remarkable journey. He purchased 900 acres of pristine land along the Great South Bay and the Connequot River. Here, he envisioned creating a haven of luxuriousness and elegance. In 1879, the first Idle Hour Mansion was erected on this sprawling estate, designed by the renowned architect R.M. Hunt. It was initially intended as a humble hunting retreat. However, it was soon transformed into a magnificent 110-room mansion in which the Vanderbilt's family cherished residence by 1882. Tragedy unfortunately struck on April 15, 1899, when a devastating fire reduced this splendid mansion to ashes. Undeterred, William Vanderbilt embarked on an ambitious journey to rebuild his dream home. The second Idle Hour mansion rose from the ashes under guidance of Richard Howland Hunt, R.M. Hunt's son. This new mansion was even grander, boasting a impressive 110 rooms. Vanderbilt spared no expense constructing it with fireproof terracotta and masonry to ensure its safety. After William Vanderbilt's passing in 1920, the estate underwent a series of changes. Portions of the property were sold and Vanderbilt legacy began to transform. In 1926, Lucy Sawyer Pritchard Thompson and her son William acquired part of the estate, which they turned into an artist colony. This colony became a thriving hub for artists, featuring an exhibition hall, a theater, and dance classrooms. The artist colony still exists within Oakdale's confines. However, the Idle Hour property saw a diverse array of inhabitants over the years, from gangster Dutch Schultz using it as a hideout in the 1930s to an organization known as the Royal Fraternity of Master Metaphysicians claiming to have given immortality to a young woman, the estate's history is tapestry of fascinating stories. In 1962, the estate was acquired by Dowling College, which repurposed the mansion in its main building. But tragedy struck again in 1974 when fire engulfed the mansion, causing extensive damage. Remarkably, despite William Vanderbilt's efforts to make it unburnable, the mansion underwent extensive restoration before it could be used once more. Dowling College continued to occupy Idle Hour until 2016 when it ceased operations. Today, there are ongoing efforts to secure the mansion and other estate buildings by designating them as local landmarks, preventing potential demolition and ensuring their protection and preservation. This initiative aims to safeguard the rich history and legacy of Idle Hour for future generations. Oakdale community has been instrumental in these preservation efforts, driven by their love for the area's history. They understand that the Vanderbilt and Cutting families, who once called this place home, have left an indelible mark on Oakdale, and they are determined to ensure that the legacy lives on. In recent years, the Idle Hour Mansion has faced a series of break-ins and incidents of vandalism causing concern among the local community. Residents hope that these acts cease as they pose a significant threat to the preservation of this historic gem. The Idle Hour Mansion stands as a testament to the opulence and grandeur of an era gone by. Its enduring legacy from its origins as a hunting retreat to its transformation into a symbol of elegance and luxury continues to captivate our imagination. With ongoing preservation efforts, we hope to secure this historic treasure and allow its stories to live on for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and history, exploring the fascinating tale of Idle Hour Mansion in Oakdale, Long Island. As we continue to strive for its preservation, we remember the past and look forward to the future where this iconic estate can inspire generations to come.